This ain't good. Empty bags. Gotta keep your empty bags. Always keep your empty bags. Free rig, ready to go. <laughs> you know he keeps that thing on. <laughs> where's where's, where's my hula poppers at? Is y'all throwing them away? All right, so me and Hunter are still in Memphis, Tennessee now. Been looking on Google Earth. I found one really cool little river close by and a couple little ponds that I think we can go, might go catch a couple bass out of, especially if they don't get much pressure. So these are not my rods. This is not my tackle box, but me and Hunter's dad used to fish tournaments together uh, a few years ago. We, we were team partners at some tournaments. So I'm going to see what he's got to work with. We're going to take some of his stuff. He's going to go with me, and we're going to catch some bass off the bank. So first things first. Shimano Corrado 70, that's the one I'll be using, ain't no doubt about that. There should be a lot of the same baits that I use in here because he pretty much learned to fish from me. So, let's see what we got in here. All right, so organization is key. What is this junk? He said he's got everything I need. Watermelon slice. Okay, we have came to a conclusion about my dad's tackle box. What do we got, Kyle? This is a whole bunch of junk. I'm sure a lot of y'all's tackle box looks like this. I think we need to confront him about this. He needs an intervention. You don't need all this stuff. Time to simplify. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, Daddy. Y'all ready to go fishing? We were until we saw this junk. Well, that's, that's my fishing tackle. Explain some of this crap to him. I mean, that's my do nothing worm. Why do you need every single coat of tackle crop? Every single coat. Well, you gotta have them. You know, there's only one color to eat. And you know the color. If your package of your baits looks this crinkled up, <laughs> you've been carrying it around way too long. It's just, it's not the way any bag should look. How many things does he need? I think we can get it down to 12 bags. 12 bags. Include five variations or six, and then a couple different colors of each. But look at how good looking that. It does Very look good. Idea. It does look good, but it's not a fashion show. It's a fishing competition. What about these pink things? Daddy, have you ever caught a fish on these? Mm, not yet. Why you got them? Well, I figure one day they're going to eat them. One day it's going to be the deal. You can tell he is a fan of the trick worms. This is a mess. All right, so digging through this, we found an original floating worm. Do nothing, whatever you want to call it. In my fishing career, I have heard about more giant fish lost on this worm than anything else because of that brass hook. If you got a bait with brass hooks on it, just don't throw it. Do yourself a favor. Don't throw it. We gotta go to the academy and get all we need. Okay, so the key is finding baits that can have multiple different applications. Well, obviously, everybody knows what's up with the Cinco's because they are out of green pumpkin, so find us a baby bass or a green pumpkin magic or something. There you go. Right there. Green pumpkin purple. Got to get crawl baits. One of the most versatile ways to fish. I threw these in all kinds of watercolors, so green pumpkin and June bug. All big name stores don't carry these in the blueberry color, so we'll just get June Bug. Best flipping baits ever created. Get tons of big bites, green pumpkin, and June Bug to cover all water clarity. All right. Never go anywhere without rubber worms in my boat when the bite gets super tough. Drop shot bait. If you want to know my opinion, always go for the cutest bait. This is definitely cute. White Flinto. Just a little extra bait. It's good all around. Lily pads, throw them back of a buzz bait, everything. I throw this on a lot of stuff. This is not a necessity. This is a bonus. Not, definitely not a must have. All right, we are back from Academy now. You just got a glimpse of Miss Hunter's hair in the shot. We just went, picked out a few items. Basically, I saw my father in law's tackle bag and it made me realize that everybody's tackle bag looks like that. And it gave me the idea to do this video because. 
you don't really need that many plastics. They kind of cover a lot of bases on their own. And you can just narrow it down to five or 10 things, get two or three colors in a lot of them. And you're pretty much covered for an entire year. You know, y'all have seen the back of my truck when I travel to tournaments. The guys who have followed, or guys and gals who have followed me for a while now. You've seen the back of the truck. I keep a huge Tupperware container full of baits in there. I keep getting new shit from Sportsman's Outfitters all the time of new baits. But, Hunter, come around here for one second. I want you to tell the people what is in the Tupperware container. What it all boils down to, what really is it? Basically, it's all duplicate. That's it. It's extra stuff. And the reason for that is we go to tournaments, and that's not scripted. She, uh, you know, that's really what it is. We go to tournaments, and sometimes I got, I might be practicing four or five days. Wait, and also, I organize all of it in the back while he's practicing for his tournaments. And as soon as the first day of the tournament is over, the back of the truck is destroyed. Yes, because I'll be like, I, okay. I don't like that. I'm low on... Truck car TK 130. He's like a kid in like a toy box. He just like throws it behind him and just picks out what he needs. I'm trying to find what I need because I have extras in there of everything. But, and I don't like to keep a ton of stuff in the boat because it just weighs it down. It's extra clutter in the boat. So I might only keep 10 truck car flipping hooks in the boat, but I might have 30 more in the bag. Or I might only keep three packs of Cinco's in the boat, but I've got 15 more bags in the truck because if you're practicing for four days and then fishing a tournament for three days, if you're really, really on a good Cinco bite, it's easy to use two, two and a half, three bags of Cinco's in a day. So obviously for a three-day tournament, I'm going to need to have 10 or 11 bags of Cinco just to make sure. Add that to, you might use a bag or two in practice. Now you better take 14 bags of Cinco's with you to make sure you got enough for practice and the tournament. That's the dilemma when you're fishing seven, eight days in a row if you get on a really good bite. Now in practice, I'm not just gonna put my head down and just throw a sinker all the time. But that's just an example. I keep a lot of duplicates in the boat. But these baits right here are all you need for bass fishing pretty much all year. And that's the honest truth. These have a lot of applications and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would use them all for right now. So let's start off with the most versatile crawl bait ever invented, the Zoom ultra vibe speed crawl y'all see me use this thing a ton and y'all have not seen me use it whenever i have been using it a ton so basically i throw this sucker on the back of a jig religiously that body on it has a really really good body to uh resistance ratio basically so it's got a big body and the, these legs don't really grab whenever it's skipping so this thing skips so freaking well so this is my favorite jig trailer all the time another thing I punch grass with this a lot whenever I'm downsizing half ounce weight or you know three quarter ounce weight three all hook I'll punch grass with this put a punch skirt on it and use this just like this I will also I have Carolina rigged this in the past it's been a few years before since I have Carolina rigged this this is a really really good Carolina rig bait it's a good flipping bait jig trailer you put it I've put it on a shaky head before and caught fish but that's not a main application for this but I, I always keep these in green pumpkin and either June bug or blueberry, blueberry just being a standard black and blue. Usually I just keep green pumpkin, June bug, and then I keep white ones for a swim jig because this is a really, really good swim jig trailer as well. Whenever the water is really clear, I like to use a smaller swim jig trailer. I can work it really, really fast, and I'll put that white one on, and it doesn't have a lot of resistance, but it skips really, really well, so I can work it super fast, keep it high in the water column, and move it really fast without it ever breaking and trying to rise up too much. So I keep these all the time I boat in green pumpkin, June bug, and white, and you should too because it has a ton of applications. Moving right along to another trailer style bait, just a three and a half inch swim bait. This right here is a, that net bait, uh, Little Spanky in pearl color. This goes on the back of a spinner bait, goes on the back of a chatter bait. Put this thing on an A-rig, put it on a single jig head and throw it. I just always, always, always keep these in the boat, period. I always keep it in pearl. Now, I will keep these in green pumpkin as well for throwing a gr green pumpkin chatter bait or green pumpkin spinner bait which you don't see a lot but a lot of people do throw them but three and a half inch swim bait you cannot go anywhere without it you don't really need the five inch size i will use it sometimes but a three and a half inch uh, swim bait will cover you for a ton of things all the time now y'all see me flipping a lot the by far the best flipping bait i've ever used is just a standard full-size brush hog i keep these things with me all the time you don't know this, or some people don't know this, but for a long time, this has been the best Carolina rig bait. Everywhere you go, Texas, South Carolina, California, and up to New York, they are Texas rigging a brush hog. 
that's one of the main baits, a te uh, Texas rigging and Carolina rigging. So it's one of the best Carolina rig baits. It always has been and always will be. So this thing right here is very versatile. I throw it on a Texas rig, a light Texas rig sometimes pitching around docks. I flip with it a ton, and I always keep these in my boat in Green Pumpkin and June Bug or Blueberry. I don't keep both June Bug and Blueberry, just either one. Make sure I'm covered for stained water and clear water. So you keep this in your boat in two colors. Now, this is the cream of the crop. I don't care who you're sponsored by. You can go in any pro's boat, do a deep dive. They got Yamamoto Cinco's in their boat. I promise you they do. They all, I mean, 90%, probably 95% of all pros have Gary Yamamoto Cinco's in the boat. You just ain't gonna beat it no matter what. It's been the best for years and it will be the best forever. And my opinion, if I'm fishing a tournament, I pay $7 a bag for these things. I don't get them for free, and I, I hope to go through five bags in a tournament day. That's I hope every night, please let me go through $35 worth of Cinco's tomorrow because that means I'm making some money. But I don't, if I'm going to Florida, now you deviate, you can deviate from these baits if you're going somewhere that is, you know, has a lot different of environment or a lot different of water color, but... I pretty much just keep these in green pumpkin in the boat because I'm not going to throw a Cinco whenever the water's really, really muddy. I'm going to stick to reaction baits or big bulky creature baits or something like a speed crawl on the back of a jig. In clear water, that's when I reach for the Cinco around the spawn. So I always keep it in green pumpkin. You can get a baby bass color. You can get a green pumpkin purple color, but you don't need all three. You only need one color because I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen it, but I fish brim beds a lot being from the south. We have brim that spawn for four months, so probably actually longer than that, but you pull up to a brim bed, there'll be a hundred brim, every single one of them is a different color. So don't tell me that you need green pumpkin blue, because there's a green pumpkin uh, bluegill, there'll be a solid black one, there'll be a black and blue one, there'll be one with some orange on it, there'll be one that's pretty much translucent. There's a hundred different color bluegill on a bluegill bed at any given time. So if a bass is picky enough, where they just want a green pumpkin with a little bit of orange on it, that fish is too smart for me to catch in the first place. So I keep it simple. I keep a natural color Cinco in the boat always. And if I'm going to Florida, I'll have a black and blue one in there as well. Now, this is also one of the best Carolina rig baits. Smallmouth fishing, this is, I mean, a big secret. People, uh, Carolina rig, a Cinco, big time. Also, this little speed crawl right here. But spotted bass fishing, Clear water whenever it's tough. One of the best Carolina rig baits is a Cinco. Now, I gotta admit, whenever I'm throwing a Carolina rig, I will use an off-brand Cinco from time to time because I feel like when you're down there 16, 18 foot deep, just not that important to have that good action. But around the spawn, when it's super tough, I use name brand Yamoto Cincos all the time. Really, really good um, shaky head bait also. It's really, really overlooked as a shaky head bait in my opinion. But you put a 16th ounce shaky head on this, this thing skips better than any other shaky head worm out there. And it falls really, really good on the uh, shaky head. It's just a really, really good shaky head bait. Now, you'll tear these suckers up trying to put that shaky head in there. But it's worth it. You get a lot of bites on it. Another thing you can do with this is cut this thing right in half and use it on a Ned Rig. So just cut it in half. You got a little Ned Rig bait right there. Boom. You got this in your boat. It's got five or six applications. Same thing with all these baits right here. Now, sometimes... I don't care what time of the year it is, if fishing just gets tough. Anytime the water's really, really clear, actually I keep this in my boat all the time, but when the water's really, really clear, I really start to lean on it. In the September months, I really start to lean on it, and, and even in the May extreme post-spawn or April, I really pick it up some as well. Just a four and a half inch finesse worm. This happens to be a robo worm. That's the one that I keep in my boat all the time. I don't usually keep this color. I usually keep just a, it's more like a green pumpkin or a green pumpkin magic color that I keep in my boat all the time. And that's just the only color I throw on it. I mean, I throw it on shaky head, a light shaky head. I throw it on a drop shot. I wacky rigged it before, but it don't fall quick enough for me in my opinion. But I always keep this in my boat just in case I need to hit that panic button and get some bites. Keep a four and a half inch naturally colored worm in there. Another thing that is not a necessity, but I always, always keep it in my boat zoom horny toad these things you throw them back of anything i throw them back of chatter baits i throw them back of buzz bait all the time as y'all have seen i put it on swim jigs before put them on spinner baits i put them on literally everything and then you know what you can just rig it with a screw lock with a you know four alt 
wide gap hook and a screw lock, the regular horny toad style hook, and this thing will skip under anything and come through anything. It's one of the most versatile topwater baits. It's really, really subtle. It gets a lot of bites whenever big topwaters just want. So, I don't know if I forgot anything, but these baits right here literally fit every single application from Carolina rigging to flipping to you got a shaky head worm. You got trailer for almost anything, and anything you don't want to throw this trailer on, you throw this trailer on. I mean, I can't think of anything else that you will need throughout the year. Now, sometimes, yeah, there's a time in late summer where the fish will really, really key on bluegill, and I will change my color of my jig skirt only for that time of the year. But guess what? I still throw this color trailer always. This is pretty much all I can think of we need. You can deviate, but... For 40 bucks, you can be covered every single bait you need for the entire year. I think this came out to a little under 40 bucks. So, hope I simplify some things for y'all. This is literally all you need. I will see y'all in another video. Leave me a comment. Give me some ideas for some other videos. I promise the people that are new to the channel, I do catch fish sometimes. I don't just sit at the kitchen counter and talk all the time. Just scroll back three or four videos. You'll see me whacking some, but right now we're not doing that. Appreciate y'all watching though. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. See y'all in the next one. Super basketball challenge. Under the